See if everybody gets back in here. Well, how do I get back to it? That's good. All right, we're good. So you just go to live. Or should we go home? Oh, there we go. Man, what a mess. There we go. Okay. Trying to blow that up for you. There we go. Okay, thank you. Got it. Yes, we got it. Guys, I am sorry. Oh, man, I hope all y'all got back in here. Um... Man, I hate that. I, there was a setting, evidently it got changed in the last software I downloaded. I didn't catch it. And the lives are automatically vertical and you have to change it to horizontal. So, we got it. Thank y'all and I'm sorry. Tuning in. How's the light, everybody? I think the light's good. Volume coming through good. Everybody hearing us okay? Is anybody saying anything? Mm, we'll just, uh, yeah, they said it looks good. It sounds fine. Cool. Thank um, you, thank you, thank you. Well, we'll always remember this one. The first official Monday Night Live with JT West or JT West Monday Night Live. We'll never forget it. It'll always be, be perfect. Uh, we'll go in later and we'll delete those other ones off and obviously keep this one. Rob uh, Clinton says that was fun. He's seasick now. Yeah, I bet. Go go back to the main screen. Go back to live. Oh, there it is. Click. Nope. He just canceled that one. Now, I, I, I called it when I tried to start it up again. I called it, which believe it or not, me and Lino invested about, what, 30, 40 minutes last night? I think so. We invested about what 30, 40 going? minutes uh, oh, it's the cat. in trying to see if we could do this with the <laughs> GoPro and do 1080. What? what Kurt, was I? Kurt was behind us getting something. Oh. Probably a frog or a moth or something. Yeah, we are alive. We are in the trot shed, so we there may see we may see frogs, cats. Uh, we may see a little bit of everything. I don't know. <laughs> we know. I know Kayla Bell's got to leave, so you'll see her leaving. And then... Uh, Will and Megan's got to come back, so you'll probably hear them pulling up. Mm -hmm. It's but always it's always busy around here. Thought we'd uh, come on today for Monday Night Live and talk a little bit. We'll talk a little bit about Plow Day, uh, what to expect <coughs> there. And if y'all got any questions, y'all throw something out there. But let's see who's on and say hey to yes. um, Lon and Bowers Brother Farm. Hey, Bowers Brothers. Timbo's on. Timbo. Um, Lock and Holcomb. Did Allison make it back? Um, yes. She says it's darker in North Carolina than Tennessee. Yeah, it is. Allison, give me a text later on an update. And then um, Nick says he likes the brush guard. Well, Nick, um, that brush guard. So, one of a couple of videos back, we bush hauled the Jimmy Red, and a subscriber emailed me, Jerry. I'm not gonna say Jerry's last name. He probably wouldn't care, but anyway, Jerry uh, emailed me and said, "Man, I sure hate to send them stalks at that trot." He said, "I got, I got a brush guard if you want it." And I said, "You know what, Jerry? I do." And Jerry lives down east of me, down east of Raleigh, and we had to go get Megan Saturday and get all of her stuff because Megan and Will are getting married this Saturday. So we had to get all of Megan's stuff and move it up here. So it was no other time to do it. Had to do it Saturday in the tropical storm, raining. Yes. But it wasn't. We've seen seven accidents. Yeah. One hydroplane right in front of yeah, us. Yeah, I did see a hydroplane. And anyway, so Jerry gave that to the channel, gave it to us, and we appreciate it. So y'all be sure to thank Jerry. And uh, it, I debated on painting it, but... It just had that patina that matched my tractor, so I said, no, I'm not going to paint it. We're going to leave it like it is. 
But I'll move my head. Y'all get a better look at it like that. Yeah, y'all can sit. I like it. I like that screen up there like that. It. It's uh, pretty neat. Pretty neat deal. They can probably get a better look at it like that. Anybody see anything? Mm-mm. Can you see it now? Yeah, they can see it. So, yeah, we're, we won't knock no pine trees over with it, but we will ride down some stalks. The more informed said we like it the way it is. <laughs> and Spurs Mountain is on. And hello, guys. Hello from Virginia. And Brian Heitzman says, love the lanterns. Thank you, Brian. I do, too. I got about... I think I did a video one time showing what lanterns I had, which is only a percentage of peach. And Lena will tell you of what I did have at one time, which is about 50 or 60 of them. Yeah, too many. Um, Eugene Martin says hello from South Boston, and he loves your, our videos. Thank you. Did you say Eugene? Yeah. Thank you, Eugene. Oh, the reason why I chose Lantern, guys, I have some DeWalt lights, but those LEDs make a flicker that picks up on camera and these gas lights here I, I don't think are flickering y'all tell me if they are or not I don't think so um Lock and Holcomb I don't know if I'm saying that name right but it's like they like the Super A and got one myself I'm beginning to like it more and more of course you guys know this is Sammy Super A uh, we made a video with it today bush hogging that'll come out later on this week and uh i asked sammy when we got back home i said sammy you want to drive around the yard a little bit he said no i'll just wait clutch is still slipping we'll got to get a clutch in it it's not too bad but you can feel it when the tractor gets under a load but uh we we got a little work to do to it um spurs mountain says they love old coleman products which you've got stoves too yeah i spurs mountain i've got probably 10 or 12 lanterns now and not four, five, six, seven stoves. I don't remember how many I got. And I, I got a lot of parts for them and the special parts it takes to work on them. Um, the lantern here to my left, that's actually when you collect lanterns, the cool thing to try to do is get what you call a birthday lantern. And that's my birthday lantern there. That's a 1071 lantern. Uh, the lantern behind me on the tractor it's just a two night what you call a Coleman 295 <coughs> deal fuel lantern, but I painted it and put an IH sticker on it, and that's just my IH lantern. And that lantern there is actually one that Will bought, and he uh, I just used his lantern today. Sorry, I'm coughing in the microphone. Yeah, you are. You're supposed to. Yeah, sorry. Um, Mom says hi, my sweet Lino. Hey, Mom. Hello, Eva. Mm -hmm. So. Plow day, guys. I don't know if uh, some of you, some of my subscribers, and some of Meredith, this farm wife, Meredith Bernard's subscribers, probably watch some of the same stuff. If any of you guys don't know, Meredith's going to come by my plow day. She was there last year. She stopped by for a little bit, 20, 30 minutes. But she's going to come by this year, if you watch her channel, uh, from 10 to 12, right? Yeah, 10 to 12. She's gonna come by plow yeah. day, so if any of y'all, any of y'all uh, want to see her, come on by. And I think, like, well, she's the way she told me, she's committed to be there at least ten to twelve, and you know, see what happens from there. Um, Where is the plow day? The plow day, and later on after this live post on YouTube, I'll add a link, a pin, a GPS pin to where plow day is. It's October the 7th. Uh, I figure we'll start about 9 o'clock in the morning. And um, I do generally try to provide lunch. Now, guys, I'm going by history of my plow day. And by history of it, I think at one point in time, we might have 35 to 40 people. And so I'm going to try to get enough barbecue to make about 50 to 60 sandwiches. And if it just, for some reason, guys, it, it just explodes <laughs> and there's a hundred people there. I'll bring peanut butter. We, other than the peanut butter, we'll start doing it like uh, church. We'll start with the women, the children, <laughs> the elderly, and then go down from there. Uh, that'd be the only fair way I know to do it. So, uh, but, you know, like I said, I'm going to be prepared for 
you know, 50 to 60 people at least. <clears throat> and we'll have some drinks there and some water. And I usually use my RV. I have it there for a bathroom. I think it's a little nicer than, than the uh, porta potties. And it may get so big one day we have to do a porta potty. I don't know. But I have to use them on construction sites. And I just, I, I hate the thought of putting y'all through that. Mm -hmm. Um, Brian wants to know what made you cho choose to use the 140 to farm with. Uh, well, I, that's a good question, Brian. So, if you really can only afford one tractor... It would be, to, for me, it would be the 140 because I like gardening and planting corn and stuff. Now, I guess if I was only planting something that I planted it and harvested it with something else like a combine or a hay rake or something like that, another tractor would be fine. But for me, the 140, I can disland, I can plow it, I can treat it like it's not an offset tractor and do everything that a non-offset tractor will do and then turn around and take care of the crop throughout the year also, which is keeping the grass out, cultivating it and growing it, and just repeat over and over again. It's not many tractors out there that can do that. Uh, I, I really don't know of any new that can do it. Um, Matt with Farm All 51, by the way, he's planning on coming to Plow Day, uh, and that's Farm All 51 if any of you guys watch <laughs> his channel. But he did a little video on a, I think it was a Case IH 285, 275, something. It was one of Case IH's last offset tractors that they built. Um, James Kelly says, nice new cornfield to use. That might need a picker. Yeah. We're going to, uh, <coughs> so I know, I do know where I can get a picker at. <clears throat> it's a pretty long drive to use it. And, and the man done told me I could use it all I want. Uh, ain't no problem. He's un, you know he's untold me. Hey, it's right there under the shed, but it's pretty going. It's about a 40 minute drive to get it over here, and so you know that's pretty good long ways with picker. But we may. Uh, I need somewhere to store it actually, more than anything. Um, Rob Clinton says parts availability. On the farm malls yeah, or the on corn the, pickers on the 140, I think. Yeah, <clears throat> parts is a deal where. You know, you might can find 10% new parts or new parts that are not made by IH, as in, you know, uh, I think you guys know that I always recommend Birch Store tractors, and he has, I don't know where he gets them from, but he has some remanufactured parts for the cultivating arms and stuff like that. Uh, he obviously gets somebody to make them for him, and... Uh, but most of the time it's going to be used. Benjamin Winborn's on. Hey, Benjamin. Um, he Man. says, howdy, Mr. Jerry. Been a while <laughs> since you started to grow. You might need to talk your wife into a Gleaner F Combine. Yeah. Cousin Scott got two of them now. I need to go get his old one. <laughs> I don't know where we'd fit that. Yeah. <laughs> They're not real. They'd actually fit in this shed here. They're not super big. Oh, you big. think so? Yeah. It's, I was just thinking of Beeman's Yeah, combine. no. That's, Beeman had a John Deere. 4400 yeah i just know so it was really big it's not too bad yeah um so start at 10 o'clock meredith come at 10 to 12 we'll have a little lunch we'll do like last year sorry guys i got sidetracked y'all gotta put me back on track sometimes um i've told preacher to come by and and give us a a nice little blessing over the meal which for you guys that was there last year you know he spoke for about 10 or 12 minutes before we ate and uh, we'll do that again, and uh, we'll just finish plowing out. The field's actually a little bit bigger, um, so here's the deal on that field, guys. Right now, we got three inches of rain Saturday. If we didn't really get no rain to speak of from here to next Saturday, not this coming Saturday, but next Saturday when plow day is, we'll be fine, be perfect. So we're just going to have to play it by ear. Uh, because I've always said I, I want to do my plow day. I'm ready to do my plow day. But if I get around that Thursday and I see that this ground's not going to dry out enough or if it's going to rain all day Friday or something like that, you know, I always try to give you guys the heads up because some of you guys are traveling in pretty good ways 
uh, mm -hmm. to get there. And I, you know, we don't want to leave you hanging. And well, is he having it? Or is he not having it? Um, so you try to tell him when? Well, Thursday that, at before? least that Thursday or Friday. But next Monday we'll do it live again. And speaking of JT West Monday Night Live, I thought I'd do this. It'd be kind of funny. You ever seen those videos where they'll listen to a song for the first time? And no. uh, they call it reaction videos. It's when they react to a song that they heard and they get the face gets all messed up, whatever. So I hadn't told Lino about the Monday, the JT West Monday Night Live. I want to try, and here's the reaction for you. I want to try to do this even in the winter when it's maybe a little cold, still have it out in the shed. <laughs> So, you ready for cold weather? No. <laughs> We're going to have five minute lives then. <laughs> but I can put your electric blanket right here. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see about that. We'll have to see. Depends on how cold it is. You know, if it's in its 40s or something, we'll have it out here. But if it gets down real, real cold, we'll we'll probably have to move it inside. Yeah, but, we can have it inside some. But but we could go over there where, they, where the canvas is, and that will block all the wind off. Yeah. Maybe. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> Butterfly Farms is on. It Hello, Butterfly Farms. Enjoy, enjoys watching us. Thank you. Thank you so much. And Logan wants to know, any good uh, place where I could find a fast hitch for Super A? Well, for Logan, the fast hitch, I mean, it, the one for the 140 will fit the Super A uh, again. And it's just... The only guy I know that deals in this stuff is Brandon at Birch Store Tractor. Uh, all of my videos have his uh, address in the description of the video. And by the way, I meant to say just a minute ago while I'm on that point, the last two or three videos I've done also have the plow day location in the description of those videos. Uh, but, you know, it's... And don't get me wrong, guys. I, I won't... I don't get nothing for Brandon. If I go over and get a part, Brandon's charging me the exact same thing he's charging you. I know it's a little costly, <laughs> um, but he's liable to drive, you know, down to eastern North Carolina, pick up two 140s, bring them back, part them out, clean them up, inventory them. <clears throat> and, you know, he's got a lot involved in those parts. It may be a little, you know, a little lift arm or a little spring or a rock shaft but by the time he gets that rock shaft home he's invested quite a bit of time in that rock shaft um brian wants to know why do you raise so much jimmy red corn because in his part of the country it's not planted much yeah I think it's I, a personal i just like it I, I the number one thing i guess i like about it is um it's an old corn from the old days you know, probably 18, late 1800s, 1900s. There's a YouTube channel called, uh, it's Scott Rayleigh, Rayleigh Farm and Field. That's it. Rayleigh Farm and Field. And he talks about those corns. He, he, he really got into the history of those corns. Uh, he hasn't made a video in a while, but he pops one up every now and then. And he's the one where I first got the seed from him. Uh, I just like it because it's just an all-around good corn, never been genetically modified, and it's original old corn. Good for cows, you, your chickens, your dogs, your cats. <clears throat> Anybody eat it, it's good for them. Yeah, Bower's brother said we should get a campfire. <laughs> well, I was trying to make sure it, there's no green dots on here, right? No. Okay. Last night we had some green dots floating around, kind of like little were fireflies. They, were they bugs? No, it was the camera was doing something, and I moved those, moved those uh, oh, okay. Coleman lanterns. Um, and Rob Clinton says cold equals more lanterns. Yeah, they do let off a little. Yeah, they do. Heat. Well, they let off a, quite a bit of heat, actually. Um, well, then I need to set them <laughs> all around me. Well, actually, I got a heater for that, Rob. It's I can set it right there in front where y'all can't see it. It's actually a a single burner Coleman stove. It's a single burner that you put this little black cap on it, and that cap diffuses the flame and turns it into a heater. And uh, yeah, it actually puts out quite a bit of heat. 
Ben wants to know when do you and Sammy plan on fixing the clutch? Ben, I don't know. That's, you know, we, uh, golly, me and Lino was just talking the other day, and in, in our last, it's going to be like our last four or five weekends have just been something, 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 something. Not, not complaining at all, just saying. Uh, so, you know, we got <laughs> Will, Will and Megan, you know, we went and got Megan's stuff weekend last weekend, wedding this weekend, plow day the next weekend. I really look for it being to be around first of the year. We'll drive it up to my buddy Roger's house. I'll try to film as much of it as I can. Uh, filming, <clears throat> filming mechanic work takes, to me, it takes a special knack. Um, Pete on just a few acres, I hear cat fighting. Pete on just a few acres, when he films his try to work, he really keeps my attention. He doesn't stay on one thing too long. You know, he's he just really, oh. I don't know how he does it, but he just really keeps my attention. What's wrong? It's a big bug no, flew in my hair. Crazy, man. Ah, it's on my hand. <laughs> Sorry. <sighs> Next time, let me get it. So you, you, you um, know. Let me see. Let me catch up here. Uh, Spurs Mountain says you need some Danny corn from Deep South. I thought about it. Um, mm -hmm. and, and Danny would probably send me some. No problem. I just, I ran, I'm, I'm got to keep this stuff separated. And with the new Jimmy Red field, it allows me to do a bigger crop of Jimmy Red. And I keep the Hastings where it's at right now. Um, I would have to add another field in the other direction going up the road that way. Which I probably could, uh, but yeah, that's that's. I would say his corn, and Jimmy <coughs> Red and the Hastings, I'd say they got some bloodline in there with them somewhere because they're all three of those varieties can get twelve foot tall and just huge. There's two little green dots, right there. Yeah. Okay. Well, long as they're bad. long as they're on the floor, yeah. that's fine. And Terry says, I think it's a pretty cool idea doing a live stream in the shed with lanterns. <laughs> it is until a bug flies in your hair. Well, just uh, let me know well, about the bug and I'll get it. I'm not waiting that long. This just a bug. I don't like it. <clears throat> um, let me see who else said. Have you, oh. ro have you rolled this down any? Yeah. So that's on the bottom? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, and Rob said that he has an extra fast hitch if the guy is near Middle Tennessee, um, Loken Holcomb. So there you go, guys. Y'all Middle Tennessee. There's an extra one. So that was <laughs> Rob, and who asked about the fast hitch? Loken, Loken. Loken asked about the yeah. fast hitch, and then Rob said he had one. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm saying his name right. Y'all two, y'all can message each other in the chat there and, and maybe <laughs> get get a hold to each other. Uh, Nick says, we done the clutch in his 140 and had to take it apart four times. <laughs> he can replace him in his sleep. Well, I, Nick, I hope. Who's that? Kaylee? Kaylee. I hope that we won't have to do. Wait, did you do the same clutch four times is what you're saying? Hey, Kaylee. Hey. Let my babies come get in the you in the come, You want to say video. hey in the live? If you get right behind me right here, I think everybody can see you. But I think lags. Well, well it does yes, a little. It lags. <laughs> and look, it's, I already had the big bug fly All right, in my scoot, hair. Scooch down just a little bit. Scooch down a little bit. Ellie, Kaylee's fine. Kaylee's fine. I mean, just short. Somebody just asked, hey, just tuning in. How are the mosquitoes? Mosquitoes are fine, and I can deal with them. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's just a mall. <laughs> this is turning into It's just a mall. Leave me. Joey. <laughs> All right, this is Ellie, and this is Kaylee. <laughs> don't, watch so it. Is, don't watch it here. Yeah, It'll this mess be, you up. Don't look at the screen. <laughs> yeah. This will be I my daughter-in-law. No, stop looking at the screen. It's going to mess you up. So this will be my daughter-in-law number two. Camera. All right, guys, I'm trying to give them some advice on, if you look at that screen, it'll really mess you up, and, and you feel like everything's lagging behind, you're waiting <laughs> to see what it looks like on the screen. You can't do that. you got to keep looking right here. Oh, yeah, Mom's on here. She says, hi, Ellie and Kaylee. 
Are you leaving in a minute? Mm -mm. No. He said the the, the pressure pressure plates. Oh yeah. Um, Nick says yes. Yeah, got to bad pressure plates. Oh yeah, well. Or too I, bad. After four plates. times, yeah, I, I see now, Nick. That you, where y'all running off to? See, they just were dropping in to you're say gonna hey. You want to bombard my live? No. And then you're just gonna run we off. We just wanted to say hey to them. Um, so that Kaylee and Ellie's getting married in March, by the way, guys. Nick, yeah, I've never done one. You know, I'm hoping you know we we'll get good parts. And hopefully, we can go to Napa and find some. Uh, may have to go to Steiner's. Either way, we'll get a clutch in it. But mm -hmm. I, I got a front main seal on that thing. It's leaking pretty bad. Um, Brian says he likes your little devotions. You squeeze in from time to time. Well, Brian, I appreciate that. Um, we, I like doing that. It's uh, We just got done with revival. <laughs> and that was a, a wonderful week. And... Um, I try to be careful, you know, what I say about things, you know, it's not that I'm scared of YouTube or anything, I just like playing within their rules, but, uh, yeah, it's, we'll have to try to do more of them, may even do some on live sometime. Um, Mark Young's on. Hey, Mark, and Mark he, finally made a live. Yes, he says, greetings from Stokes County. Mark made a live, thank you, Mark. Mark's got a 140 I'd like to have. It's one of them tobacco 140s. I know it's good. <laughs> and Stokes County. Where's Stokes? I don't know. I got it. I don't know. Um, it's, I've heard of it, so it's probably, you know, within our yeah. vicinity. You know, it's Mark, not what, like it's which a... Which city's in Stokes? I don't he'll, know. He'll let us a, know in a minute. Yeah, I don't know if that's a mountain. No, it's... Somewhere close to Greensboro, I think. Okay. It's west of us. I will say, you know, Allison was on here a little while ago, guys. Allison, the one that, she is the one that handles all of our hats. JT West hats, mugs, uh, t-shirts. I thought about getting a t-shirt that said JT West right here and fast hitch on the back. Um, but so if you guys get interested in that, uh, all of my videos in the description have the website to go to for, for the merchandise. Real fans on. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. Hopefully he can come to Plow Day. He said that he had to do some work on the truck, and I told him to do it. Do it like a man and just wait till Friday night of the plow day before he does the work <laughs> on his truck. <laughs> well, and Paul can also come to our fall festival at church. Yeah. Because he's yeah. come and visit us there. Yeah, Paul, on, I'll have, Joe will have to let you know, but one weekend in October, our church is doing a fall festival at Brunswick Stew and bring your old car. So we'll let you know about that one because I know we brought his truck last time. What did Mark say? Mark said... It's got tobacco gum on it from many crops. <laughs> Stokes is west of Rockingham County, north of Winston-Salem. Okay. Yep, I, so, yeah, that's not far at all. Yeah, not far at all. Um, Aaron Ritchie says he hopes to make it to Plow Day to learn some more about my 140s. <laughs> Aaron, hope, you know, thank you, Aaron, for saying Plow Day and making it to it because that just reminded me of something. I don't want someone out there to think, a subscriber watching that, that they have to have a try this is not about you got to have a tractor to come to plow day you can totally just come by and hang out a little bit and watch a few tractors plow uh you can meet me you can meet meredith you can meet uh farm all 51 matt uh alvis with uh he's coming and uh old red tractors i my mind sometimes guys it takes me a second to remember these things so, yeah, a lot of us YouTubers. Allison says she's still here, and she said, let's do it. A fast hit shirt would be unique. <laughs> and Megan Glenn said, hey, hey, hey Ma Megan, you're supposed to be here, so you have to be on camera. I think she's staying away on purpose. Where's she at? She's got to be at their house. Megan. They're putting that cabinet together. Will, <clears throat> you get home right now. <laughs> <laughs> now, I can't do that no more. I told them last night, 
they were working on their house, getting it ready and getting it unboxed and stuff. And they spent all afternoon together. And I told them, I said, y'all just regular acting married. They're getting their house in order. <laughs> but Allison, yeah, it sounds like a good idea because uh, I actually checked and made sure Fast Hitch wasn't still copyrighted. And it's not. And uh, which I don't know if IH ever did have it copyrighted. I hear a phone ringing, but that, uh, that's mine. It's Will calling your phone. <laughs> Why would he be doing that when Megan? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he wants to be put him on speaker so he could be on the video. No, I doubt it. Um, Paul says he's got the truck running last week. They certainly didn't make the starters out of plastic on those things. Oh no, Paul's got a nice Chevrolet. Yeah. And Allison, let's do some Plow Day giveaways. We can yeah. at Plow Day? Yeah. Like if we want to just do a, a drawing. Maybe we can get some tickets, Allison. I'll yeah. get a little roll of tickets and we we'll, do, we'll do a couple of Plow Day giveaways. Yeah. I don't know why Will's calling. Maybe he wanted to be on the video I, via telephone. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh. We are just... Nothing but the best production here, boy. We got, <laughs> I know, you're digging bugs we, out of my life. We started life. <laughs> the live stream with, with cameras sideways uh, and upside down and kids coming by and bugs flying by. <laughs> Give y'all the best. Yeah. No. Well, it's real life. <laughs> this is what it's got to be. Um, Aaron says he's glad to see the front bumper on the tractor. Aaron, I, I am too. Uh, I, I think I said about four or five videos ago, I don't know, it's been about a month, uh, Farm All 51 had one, he put on his tractor, and I said, man, I wish I wouldn't watch that video, now I want a bumper on this thing, <laughs> but it, it's all come back, Jerry really blessed us with this bumper, and, and uh, sure, we'll, I'd love to have talked to him more Saturday, but we were on the way to Megan's, and plus we were trying to beat that tropical storm, and get because where we were at, it was coming our way, and if we went on to Wilmington, we'd be kind of going away from it. Oh. Um, what? Nothing. Uh, no cats. Brian says Kubota did make an offset tractor in the 70s that would accept the IH cultivator. Yes. Uh, actually, somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but Kubota made an offset tractor. I don't remember when it was. It may have been in the 90s late 80s <laughs> but ford had one john deere had one kubota had one and case ih had one <clears throat> i i don't know the numbers don't know the year they made them but they were some later model stuff and they all kind of looked alike they they all kind of had the same deal on them yeah mom said i saw a cat yeah kaylee has to baby kurt he needs his hugs yeah. um you gotta come show kurt now Terry Hayes says, I can't think of his name, but his YouTube channel is called Around the Shop. So that's Pat, right? That's Pat. That's brother Pat. Mm -hmm. Oh, say hey. Hey, Kurt. Hey, Kurt. <laughs> Joey just loves showing him off. <laughs> you keep showing that cat, we're going we're gonna to cut this video short. <laughs> um, Spurs Mount says, Oliver had one as well. I guess the... Yeah, Oliver... <clears throat> now that is one that I've always kind of really, it would probably be hard to find parts for it, but it's a Super 44. I know that one because I've always really wanted one. And Brian says he's thinking the Kubota was an L245. Yeah, it was L something. I agree with you there. And I think the John Deere had a letter in front of it too. Uh, and probably even the Ford. Yeah, tell them about that Ford two, at the time. 274, I sent you this one. Yeah, well, we're actually talking about ones later than that, son. Oh. Um, Tim Ezell, hello from southwest Georgia. Hello, Tim. Yeah, and Terry was saying, have we heard about Around the Shop? And you told him that was Pat, right? Yeah, that's Brother okay. Pat, Terry, and from I West think... West Virginia. Yeah, he's in West Virginia. Last time I talked to him... His intentions were to come to Plow Day, and we hope he does. Mm -hmm. uh, very busy. He teaches uh, Ag, um, agriculture. Forestry. Well, stuff at no, it's it's like all in everything. It's a community college, mm -hmm. and he might teach taking apart. He knows. Oh my gosh, he knows so much yeah. about steel chainsaws, and uh, steel even sends him stuff to to train. 
So he teaches people with the mechanics of steel chainsaws, and then they may uh, put a dump truck together. So mm -hmm. it's at a kind of a community college up there, and so he did, really does some neat stuff. Yeah, he teaches a lot of yeah. things up there. And he's got that teaching mentality anyway. He does. He's mm -hmm. got that patience that will that just go forever. You don't, <laughs> some people don't have. <laughs> Trying to see if I skipped anybody. What are y'all doing? Playing with the cat. No, you want to hold him? No. Okay, I just get him out. <laughs> get him out of the live stream, son. <laughs> That's enough. He just chilling. Bye, Kurt. He's just chilling back there. Take him. I don't want him to get used to doing that. <laughs> <laughs> He's already used to it. Yeah, he kind of is. He's a little used to. I know, but I I really don't want him around this shit because if he gets on my truck, it's gonna be. We'll have to bleep everything said afterwards. That's not true. Don't you say that. <laughs> Let's see. What else was I going to cover today? Uh, trying to do Monday Night Live every Monday. Um, and, we, you know, we can talk about more stuff just to try to do. We'll just see where it leads us. And... Uh, I think that was about it. Plow day, just letting y'all know that, you know, I would keep uh, keep in touch about that. Um, Scott White says, how's the paragraph doing? It is, Scott is doing wonderful. Um, that's, you know, I'm going to mention that. Scott, I'm glad you brought that up. So, just about, not all of them, but like 95% of my videos, whenever I go get a piece of equipment from the time... I did that graft till now. Whenever I go get a piece of equipment over at the barn, I always get Will or Sammy to scan by that graft just to kind of give y'all guys an update. And I don't know how many people notice that I do that or <clears throat> that we do that on the channel, but uh, it's it's wonderful, Scott. I, I cut it off, like you said, probably six, eight inches high. The video I made today, Sammy went by it with the camera. Uh, it seems like it thickened up, like like the like the graft itself, stalk on the graft has thickened up a lot. And I know the leaves have actually thickened up. They're not thin. They're pretty thick. Um. Good night, Mom. Love you. She's uh, shutting us down. Well, she's got to go to bed. Oh. Okay. Um. Brian says he watches that Oliver guy, Chris Lossy or Losey. Uh huh. As he has a Super Forty Four and a Four Forty offset Oliver. Does he use it on camera? Well, he said he watches them, didn't he? Um. Yeah, Brian. So yeah, I'm sure. It's. I don't know if that's his channel name. That Oliver guy, Chris Losey, L O S E Y. So you can look it up. Later. Yeah, I'll look at that. Um, what's the oldest tractor that comes to your plow day? Uh, we had a B last year, I believe. Uh, we had a John Deere B. Some of you guys, maybe it's on here that was there last year. I think it was that B. And then again, I mean, it. you know, some Super A's can reach down into the low 50s, I guess. So we had a couple of Super A's there. But um, B model John Deere for sure that I know of. And Terry was wondering how Pat was doing since he hadn't made a YouTube video. He said, sorry to be a pain. You're not being a pain, Terry. No, he's, but, he's fine. Yeah, he's fine. He's, it's just he's probably so busy. Pat told me that he had enough video where he could post a video every night for a long time. He just had had time to put it all together. Yeah. Um, and G. Wayne or Gwayne? Gwayne, <laughs> yeah, and from Greensboro. Okay, did you find a corn picker? No, I, I haven't. Truthfully, I haven't really look look for a corn picker because that's uh you know lord willing we'll plant that big fill in jimmy red and but that's so far off i figured i had time to kind of let that let the lord work up something for me that maybe we can find um airplane doctor says chris's family ran an oliver diller and he collects them but yes he uses offset occasionally okay i i think i have seen that channel before i believe i have and Brian said his most recent one, he was using both to rake with. And yes, that's his YouTube page. Okay. Would you consider a gleaner? A gleaner? Oh, yeah. I, I'm not. Guys, I love my 140. 
I love my Super 8. I use those tractors because they fit my budget because I, you know, I got a disc and a plow. They'll do that and they'll also cultivate and they'll also plant. And so they kind of do everything new. But I like all tractors. I, I like them all, you know, Gleaner. I mean, not just, I know Gleaner's not a tractor, but all, all equipment. Yeah. I like all equipment. It. I'm not die hard international. Uh, my daddy, the first tractor I ever remember was a Fortson Major. And uh, I always thought that thing was a nice tractor. Um, Spurs Mountain says he has a friend that uses a Super 44 for gardening and doesn't have to too much issues finding parts. <clears throat> doesn't have too many issues finding uh -uh. parts? Oh, wow, well, that's He can find good. parts for a Super 44. When I was doing direct TV, I was pulling down this driveway and the first time I ever seen a Super 44 was about five, six, seven years ago. And there was two of them. Well, let me take it back. I didn't know what they were. All I know, I said, man, that's two offset tractors. And they had a grill kind of like a, a 100. And so obviously, you know, I get out and I look. And it, I seen that it was Oliver and I seen that it was Super 44. These things were two Super 44s, original paint. Hardly any rust on them at all, and they were sitting under a tractor shed that used to have buck barns around it, and I just, man, I thought that was just the neatest tractor I'd ever seen. I was like, man, because it, it kind of looks like a 100 a little bit, or a Super A. I mean, it's got that round grill. Was that the last question? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's been 40, 40 minutes. 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we go for a, we'll go a little bit longer and then we'll oh, wait. We'll Channel. try to do about an hour, guys. It says our Cubs welcome at the plow day. Yes, sir. He's got this is Tim is Elgin. He says I have a 77 factory red year model and a 72 model with the belly mount disc plow. Yeah, no problem with that. Tim, it I don't care what tractor it is. I've always said this about plow day. I don't care what model tractor it is. Uh, only thing I would shy away from is anything over two bottoms. Now, why do we do that? It's not because I don't want to see that tractor there. I mean, I'd, I'd love to see a 574 with 316s behind it. But the plow's a, a little over five acres, the field. The field's a little over five acres. And, you know, obviously, if we have five or six, seven, 140s and stuff like that, it wouldn't take long and that field be plowed. Uh, and that's the only reason I've shied away from bigger tractors is just because I don't have the field there. Uh, you know, I watch those plow days out west. You know, they got a 40-acre field, 50-acre field, 100-acre field. Yeah, they can get them, get them all in there then, but uh, here our field just ain't big enough for big, big stuff. Not that I wouldn't want to see them. It's just you give everybody an opportunity with the tractor. Uh, Gregory Kissel is on. Hey, Greg. And it says, I'm working on restoring an unstilled W.C. Alice Cham Chamber. W.C. Alice Chamber, yep. Yeah. W.C., I'd have to look see what that is. Is that a tricycle tractor? No, that's a 40. It's a tricycle tractor. I like, I, when I was in Michigan, I seen some Alice Chamels up there. They were probably built in the 70s because they had some square bodies on them and stuff. Man, them was some nice looking tractors. I, I really like the looks of them. Kind of gave me a a better appreciation for Alice Chamel when I seen them. Uh, ben Winborn asked, do you plan on growing the plow day to about 20 acres one day? <laughs> I don't know, Ben. We got to we gotta get 20 here, acres first. Here where we live in Caswell County, I'm not, there's 20 acre fields. Don't get me wrong. It's, but they're far and few between. A lot of fields just off the top of my head around my immediate area i can't think of a 20 acre field but one place and it's honestly in the last 10 years it got made a 20 acre field in the last 10 years but before then i can't think of 20 acre field around here uh that's the problem here we uh and that's another reason why here you don't see you know guys raising you know a lot of no-till stuff you know grains 
because you know grains you what makes it so nice is if you've got you know four or five hundred acre field you sit in there and you cut a while before you come out you could never do it around here it's just too many one and two and three and four and five acre fields you'd be moving constantly from farm to farm to farm wc's were tricycle front tractors i i was wanting to say they were but i i didn't i just don't know a lot about alice i i thought they may have been Well, we, anybody got any questions? Any more questions about Plow Day? Scott White's leaving. Good night, Scott. Hey, Scott. Thank you for dropping by. And thank you for your advice on the uh, graft. All right. We're a little bit rocky start, guys. Next time, so we know the lighting's good. The mic's good right here. I put the mic between me and Lino. Uh, maybe we won't have no cat show up on the next video. Oh, Scott Small Farming and Things. He says, better late than never. Hey, Scott. <laughs> I'm glad you come by. I was just watching you today beat a barren up. And Brian said, how much of what you raise in your garden is heirloom? Heirloom, I guess you mean uh, like non-GMO, can plant it over and over again. I'd say, well, the okra... Was Star David, so you can replant it. The Roma twos, you can replant them. Even though I didn't save the seed on them, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't save the seed. All my corn I can replant, except, and I, I'm not starting an argument right now, guys, but because you got some that say yay and some that say nay, and I don't ever even try it anyway. But the Silver Queen sweet corn I plant, I don't know if I could replant it. But like I said, some will say yes, some will say no. Uh, but I do have some sweet corn I can replant. But yeah, I 99% of it is. Scott, to answer your question. Scott, here's Elliot. Elliot, come here. Ellie. He was on earlier. Elliot. Oh, there he is. Why? What'd Scott say? He just said, there's where Scott. are the boys at? Oh, well, there's Elliot, Scott. If you rewatch the video, you'll see Kaylee too. Kaylee was out here. You're going to have to lean down, boo. He can't see you. Yeah, you're too tall. <laughs> uh, Scott, I used me a nice pull bush hog today. Thank you, sir. Um, With the Super A. Yes, Scott said he's been working on the combine. And Farmall77 says thank you for taking the time to do some great videos. Thank you. And Gregory says oval fuel tank, hand crank, would run on tractor fuel. I have the steel wheels also. Is he saying for the plow day? Um, no, I don't know. Oh. Probably from something he said earlier, but. Oh, he. Restoring the Alice Chandler. Okay. All right. Okay. I was going to say, I thought he was saying, yeah, bring the steel wheel to plow day. I don't care. <laughs> Scott says, hey, tall youngin. <laughs> yeah, hey, tall youngin. Ellie, yeah. did you go with me down there to his house? Mm -mm, I uh, didn't. No. Yeah. And Ellie is pretty tall. Yeah. I mean, he's probably our tallest. He still ain't got his daddy though. And he's not done growing either, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I haven't really grew in the past two years. Well, maybe you are then. You're tall enough. You maybe reached. you're done. How old yeah. are you? 20. 20. And he's almost as tall as you, like very close. Well, I didn't stop growing until I was about 21. Okay. And Gregory asked, do you grow popcorn? No, but I, I pop a mean kettle popcorn. <laughs> no, I... We we were talking about it one day that we are to y'all gonna laugh at me. Can you sit here I do on pop, me? huh? Sorry, Ellie's gonna sit here for just a minute. Oh wow! Uh, I'll oh. be right back. <laughs> here, Ellie. I'll be right back. Ellie, what you want to look for is these comments right here. Well, Scott's just said, just you and Sam, the neighbor. Just you and Sam, the neighbor. Oh, he's talking about yes. he'll come up there. So I yeah. guess that neighbor would be Roger. Yeah, yeah that was Roger, uh, Scott. But you're right, Sam is one of my neighbors too. Got that wheel pulling in. And if you see any crazy messages, you highlight it, click onto it, and delete it. That's what you're there for. you do there to do that and read me messages. Oh, okay. I can't, I can't pronounce Brian's last name. That's all right. He said, love your videos. Keep up the good work with the, with the live chats. 
Thank you, Brian. Appreciate it, bud. We will. I, I'm trying to get better with some live. I'm trying to get a consistent Monday night thing going here. Monday night seemed to be pretty good for me. I, I'm not making fun of somebody that does, but I, I personally don't watch football, so I mean, it's just it's a good night for me to do it. Ron Fisher said he loves watching your videos. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate it, bud. We just, right now has been real busy for me at my work. Yeah, your mama would be going crazy right now. She'd be like, ah. He's in my face doing like this. <laughs> I'm trying to back him up. Um, <laughs> It's just been real busy at work, and, and I hadn't quite got to make the amount of videos I've wanted to, but that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll keep them coming as much as we can, and um, I've always said I don't ever want to make a video of something that I normally wouldn't do. Like, so what I mean by that is, uh, you know, everything that I try to make a video of is something... As far as with the equipment, I don't want to go out there and fake cutting some field that I'm not going to plant, that I'm not going to mess with. I just only cut it because I want to make a video of discing the field. <laughs> I, I don't want to do that. Rob Clinton? Clinton? Uh, he, he tested me, so I, I deleted his message. <laughs> he said crazy message testing if you'll delete. Oh. This, uh, <laughs> oh, I, I don't. You got me. Now do what? He said he he was testing me after you said if there's a crazy message, uh -huh. he put in there crazy message testing if you will delete. Well, I know, but don't so, block Rob. I mean, he was just messing with you. He just said message deleted. Okay. That's all. I didn't block him. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, he he's not. Uh, will normally does this for us, but Will's <laughs> off tonight, and so I don't, I don't want to get you blocked. What else we got there? Scott Small Farmer said, Thumb, thumbs up, folks. Help the channel. Thank you, Scott. Uh, Scott, I want to I want to see that thing picking some corn. I'd love to get down there one Saturday or so when you're picking that corn. Joseph Ellsworth, he said, Mr. Jones, I really enjoy your videos. Sure wish I could make it to the plow day with my little cub. But, but, Alice? but Alice, too many irons in the fire. I God bless God bless and keep up the great videos. Thank you, sir. I I can understand that. Are you better? Yeah. You All want right. To take it back? Yes, because Ellie's having a problem. <laughs> Ellie went to the same high school as me, me guys. Good. <laughs> so uh, I can't see good. That's the problem. <laughs> me and Ellie have the same reading ability. <laughs> oh, I got cut short. It's okay. Because the COVID years we had to do online. Oh yeah, he had two years now, of COVID read, school. What did he yeah. say again? Because Ellie. I butchered it up a little bit because I, I couldn't see. Ellie, you're messing with somebody. <laughs> he was messing with me first. Messing with Rob Clinton. That's why I said now I don't know if he did. Rob, blue, put blue, another blue, message blue in there and make sure Ellie didn't delete you off. <sighs> see, look, look at the message. Crazy message, delete practice. <laughs> oh, he's just giving yeah. him delete practice. Oh, I know, but I didn't, delete I didn't want him to block Rob. <laughs> no, it's not blocked. Um, Rob, say something again just so we know you're not blocked. Um, oh, Ron, Ron Fisher and BR Farms, he says, love watching your videos. Well, somebody said something about a cub and had too many errands in the fire and Ellie messed it up. Um, right in here, maybe? Yeah. Okay, that's Joseph Ellsworth. Hey, Joseph. It says, Mr. Jones, I really enjoy your videos. Sure wish I could make it to the plow day with my little cub. But alas, too many irons in the fire. God bless and keep up the great videos. Joseph, thank you. And maybe one day you will. And that's okay. And Aaron, I haven't seen this name, but it says, glad to have you all in a live stream. I remember y'all's journey. Well, thank you, Aaron. So he's, they've been, or Eric. Eric. They've been watching, you know, probably from Eric, the start. Eric, appreciate it. That's, you know, I, I do get some comment sometimes on my videos and I'm thinking wow I haven't ever seen that one and <clears throat> and they'll say something about having watched it for a long time and just not ever comment it um Terry says he's got a 75 international cub long stripe would love to get a turning plow and come to plow day sometime but it'll be a long trip from central Kentucky Ooh, yeah it would be a long trip and he says y'all have a great evening God bless thank you Terry thank you Terry now where's the farthest person come from for plow day West Virginia. So, so far, far, Brother Pat. Yeah, I thought it was. And Scott says you need glasses, dude. 
He has glasses. He just doesn't <laughs> wear them. I wear them at work. That's about it. And Rob Clinton says he's still here, so okay. he wasn't blocked. All right, Rob. I'll just okay. make sure you wasn't blocked. Okay. And Robert Marino says, great video live. Thank you. Thank you, Robert. We've had some difficulties tonight. Yeah, <laughs> but we'll we'll have it better next week. And we'll still do try to do the same thing here. And uh, I'll make sure that my live is set up for horizontal, not vertical. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Gregory says, I learned off of your site, or I learned of your site from Deep, Deep South. Thanks, Clemson. Greg. Yeah, I watch Danny quite a bit. Enjoy watching his uh, YouTube channel and him raising that Danny coin in the gardens and uh, enjoy it. And he enjoys your videos, and they're from Nebraska. Nebraska. Woo. And Allison says, what time is the live every Monday? 7.30? Uh, Allison, I think, I think I'll say 7.30 now. Maybe next spring, Lord willing, when it's light longer, we'll back it up a little bit. With, but with winter coming up, I, I'm going to say 7.30. And Paul Ford's on. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul. He said he almost missed our live. It says this farm wife thought it was Thursday evening. What? I don't know. Did Meredith say something about our live? or? Oh, well, no. What Meredith said was that I will do a live a couple of days before yeah, Thursday Plow before Day. Plow Day. And that is correct. <clears throat> that is correct. I will do a live a couple of days before Plow Day. But this is our, our normal live. Hopefully the uh, the beginning of a good Monday, JT West Monday Night Live. This is what this is. Let's see if I missed any messages. No, I think Ellie got them. Mostly. Okay. How long we been on, baby? Um, 56 minutes. Woo, 56 minute, guys. So, all right. Well, I'm going to, we're going to cut it off. I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. I always hate saying goodbye because there's always a comment that comes in right as you say goodbye. Or someone <laughs> just got on. Yeah, or somebody <laughs> just gets on and you say goodbye. Uh, but that's okay. We'll, you know, we'll do them a little, you know, consistently on Monday night at 730. It'll kind of become a thing. Just. You know, like, uh, uh, what? Scott says, what's in the cup? <laughs> what's in the cup? It's coffee. It's coffee. A... I drink coffee in the morning and in the evening. All right, so here's here's a, uh, what is it? When you want to just give everybody a good idea. Like, what, I mean, ain't it like a POV? A hack. A hack. Yeah. A hack. Well, here, yeah, here's a hack if you're in your vehicle a lot, like me and Scott are. Um, when I go stop somewhere, like I stopped at, Taco Bell today, and I walk in, and I get three soft tacos, the combo, and she hands me a cup, and I'm like, nah, I don't need your cup, I'm going to use mine. So you got your cup, you fill it up with ice, put your fresh drink in it, and take it for you on your road. So I always carry your own cup with you inside the restaurant, and you're good to well, go. Well, and that's, but that's quite a, bigger than a normal combo No, their cup. cup was the same size. Oh, okay. Cause yeah, he, it was the same size oh, cup. Oh, because I... Those big cups are always way too big at, at fast food. I never, I just say, can I have a smaller cup? No. But this is my Yeti coffee. It's her coffee, and she's got everything in the world mixed in with it, Scott. No. Not everything. <laughs> <I'm> just, <laughs> no, it's, sugar it's, and actually, cream. it's actually her sugar and cream topped off with a little coffee. Yes. Oh, guys, I have my first. Uh, I know I was fixing to get off the live, but I, I will say this. When we went to go get Megan this weekend, coming back, we stopped at a gas station. And what was that drink I had? Oh, I can't remember. My, my uh, first Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts iced mo mocha, it's mocha, mocha, coca, chocolate, something, whipped cream with caramel drizzle. Yeah, Megan ordered it for you yeah. so you know what to get. My first one ever. I drank about, I don't know, a quarter of it. And handed it back to Sammy. Sammy's our catch-all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he'll take it. Sammy takes everything. Yeah, take Food, it. drinks, whatever we like, don't Sammy, want. Sammy, I ain't want this. And he drunk it down. And, whoo, praise the Lord. He did not stop talking from Raleigh no. to Hurdle Mills. I told, yeah, I said, he's not allowed to have Dunkin' Donuts anymore. Because it does have a shot of espresso in it. Yeah. That's what Megan said. And I didn't even really know that till after the he fact. He was just... <laughs> <laughs> Um, hold on, just a couple more. And Spurs Mountain says, let us know when the fast hitch shirts start to sell. 
So I will we'll get with Allison on that. Well, I'll mention it on the video and. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do have a shirt that Allison made me, and I just haven't worn it that much. It's been a little warm, but I do have a a denim uh, a denim Wrangler shirt with JT West on it. It's a pretty nice shirt. I don't want to get it messed up. That's the reason why I hadn't worn it that much. Hey, Mark. Mark's from South Georgia. Hey, Mark. He says he's sorry he missed it, which, you know, because it's the tail end now, but he'll get y'all get us next week. Okay. Yeah, seven thirty Eastern is what we're gonna shoot for. Yeah, that'll but we'll shoot for and on Mondays. Again, guys, thank y'all so much for jumping on the the new live that I had to create and uh we'll get the mothers deleted off my stuff after this live's over with so it doesn't confuse people and they only have one there to watch. So anyway, thank you so much. God bless you, and I always say this and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh because I kind of take the same thought process as Billy Graham. God loves you indeed. And uh, so God bless you. God loves you. We'll see you. Bye. Bye. Oh, yeah. You I gotta, have, you gotta I go have shut to cut off. the camera off, guys. <laughs> I usually got Will behind it. So. Bye. All right, baby. I gotta have my glasses on.